great. We were kind of we had some anxiety over this because it was such a sh such an important show for us to nail this down, so to say. And I must say that everything went really smoothly, and uh, the energy was up there. Was it throughout the whole show? Was it a kind of breakthrough gig, a breakthrough moment for you today? Uh, like, like, so in a way, to in a show way. who we are, uh, why we are here. I would like to see uh, every show as a breakthrough gig, in a way. But I think that this was like something special for us because we've been waiting for this, and this is like a, you know, no question, the biggest festival, you know, show we have played in Germany so far. So it was really important for us, and especially because our label is, is River Entertainment is from Saria. So that makes this special flavor of it as well. Yeah. Okay, but I have to say you kicked ass on stage. It was very, very cool to Thank see. You. Thank you very and much. And so I, I, I saw a lot of people just uh, walking around, just standing still and watching. And I guess you made a lot of new fans today. Hope so. Yeah. I, I have to make a quote. Build a bridge to the other side, forget the shit and nothing else matters. Is this a kind of a karma, a mantra for yourself? like? This is important for us. We are going out there and we are making everything like having a good time, having a party and make the people forget the problems for just maybe 30 minutes. I would say so, yeah. And uh, I, I would add also that sincerity has been the leading theme of us playing live and us doing this music and, and just, you know, being a part of this rock scene, you know, you can do this in such many ways, but for us, I guess we have been doing this for so long that sincerity is the only mm -hmm. way to go. Yeah, in a way. yeah. And, and, and also, it's like, in a way, uh, all of us we are like this little island, uh, and islands, and, and we need to, you know, build those bridges from the island to another, because if we, you know, in this kind of time that we're living that everybody tries to be better than they are and everybody you know tries to be you know and do something uh, everything like alone I think that we are like antidote to that kind of things and we're we're working as a collective and we know that you know this whole band you know works the way that one plus one is three and it's like that's something that we have learned our lesson for that you know so it feels good to say this aloud that we're not here alone. This is what I felt. I felt while, while um, listening to your songs that it's kind of important for you to be connected and at the same time to give the people pure rock vibes, pure energy. Um, when we're talking about uh, a season where um, uh, Ki, um, AI, um, uh, of course you're using as well electronic vibes in your songs, but do you know this is what um, the people need right now true rock and roll, true alternative, true vibes? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I feel that we have been around electronic music and the electronic music boom for, you know, enough years. Let's put it like that. Yeah, so yeah there was I, a kind I, of a hype. Yeah, 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 yeah it was like in these electronic and vibes. And yeah. Finally, we are seeing that, like, real, actually, really played rock and roll with real instruments, real people, and real skills, you know, come on stage and play, and people are starting to notice that again, and, and I think, also, you know, rock and roll, it has never died, it will never die, but sometimes it just goes underground, mm -hmm. and it, yeah. it's always there. It's always, I, a, I, I it's always think, a trend. You know, yeah, but yeah. now I think it's time for rock and roll to come back up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. be like part of the mainstream as well. And also it's like, I think that Moonshot, uh, school of thought is is something like we are we're making serious music but we don't take ourselves too seriously and that's maybe some kind of tool to understand the band yeah. that yeah. that you, you can you can you can smile and have a good song with us but at the same time there's this kind of deeper level that you can follow as well and that's something i think that has been lacking in rock like rock rock music yeah. it has been like black or white or something so we are like mixing things together so. could be everything actually yeah, yeah. Could be everything. yeah. It's like talking about could be everything um the world the 
the word moonshot means, I have to read it, a plan or a goal to do something that seems almost impossible. What is your plan? When you need to describe me moonshot, what's your plan? What's your thought behind this thing? Mm. I think for me, the, in a way, the actual moonshot, the way it's like explained, or kind of happened the moment this band was formed. Mm. Because for me, this whole second chance is, is such an important thing, and kind of bigger than life itself for me. So it's it's just you know we have been doing this for so long, and now we played in many bands back in the day, and uh, we still decided to do this again. And the miracle is there, in us four guys in this band, and of course. You know, the next level of thing is that this actually is working. You know? <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. This is so crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, we're here and uh, you know, kind of playing the, <laughs> one of the coolest festivals in, in Germany at the moment. And so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. agree. So you said, of course, you when we're talking about the music scene, you're of course not a newcomer. You're all been played in bands for several, so much time and um, doing a lot of metal things in the past. How is this feeling of starting the, or let me say, press the start again button again and to restart everything new and a new concept and a new band? Was it easy from the very first second on? I guess that when we started, uh, we knew how much work will be ahead if you want to start like a real rock band. But still, now when we release second album and now when we're digging. <laughs> Again, deeper and deeper and deeper, you kind of realize that, oh man, this is going to be a hell lot of work. But it's nice work, and it feels feels really really good. So I, I think it's all fine. But you know, it's like yeah. And I I think that one of the magical moments in, in, in my past has been like playing their first ever festival show back in the day and, and release the first ever album. And, and being able to write the first ever song that you really believe in and stuff like that. And, and this time we got to experience all of this again with more shots. So, mm. so that's really, really heavy to me. And when you have a lo long, long history, you, you kind of learn to realize when something which is really important and rare happens. And you can pay attention to that and you can kind of respect that okay this is happening now and this is the thing that isn't happening every fucking day and it's like that's something that when you're doing something when you have got this kind of second chance it's, it, it's like you can really really you know give respect for this kind of chance that's that's really a beautiful thing it's the same chance yeah <laughs> yeah yeah of course and um i really feel that when you're on stage maybe have you been on stage it's you give the people the why that it's kind of important for you that you're here and working hard for this and yeah, the energy was was very on point today of course yeah. so you've been in the scene for a lot of time of course i have to ask you for your spinal tap moment <laughs> something went wrong today today well, <laughs> or or the last week's month <laughs> well well <laughs> There must be a lot of those, but, but it's, it's, it's not. I have this, this, this I, don't, I, I wouldn't call it the sp spinal tap, but, but we are having this uh, Black and Spiral song, which is like one of the well known, you know, you know, and well, one of the most airplayed, you know, song we have in, in the second album. And I started to speak this song, and somehow I kind of, you know, forgot that it's, it's Black and uh, uh, <laughs> you said black and circle. And I was and black and circle. Yeah. How the hell is yeah. that? And we all, <laughs> what the other, I'm doing? <laughs> all the other guys noticed that. And I was like, <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. How is going to save this one? Yeah. <laughs> just we have a laugh there. Yeah, yeah, but in a way, you're, you're somewhere. You know, just, I, I yeah. kind of. It felt like, a, at the same time, it was like a so corny and so spinal tap. But st still, I knew that I'm really deep in this rabbit hole called Moonshot if I forget our single song name. <laughs> it's a positive yeah. thing in a way. Yeah. Okay, get it. In German we would say Scheiße. Yeah, 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 yeah. How would you say it in Finnish? Paska Homa. Paska Homa. Paska Homa. Paska Homa. Okay. 
we are almost ready with this little interview. The last sentences are for you, for our listeners, for our viewers. If you have something to say, then took it, take a chance. Feel free to spell it out. Well, yeah, we're actually coming back to Germany on November with the new roses. So hopefully you right there will think about getting a ticket and going to.